All right, guys, so we're gonna pick up where we left off. And so we were thinking that this function here might look like a stream builder function that may be building that password dynamically. And then we have this called to malloc, and it looks like uh, whatever the argument is, it's gonna be, maybe that's the, yeah, that's gotta be the size of uh, how much space we're built, you know, for this uh, dynamic built array, right? Characters. So then wait, let's let's do this. Let's rename this. Mm, let's see. Rename this to C password builder. Okay, password builder. Okay, and let's go back over here. Pass. Okay. So where can we go? All right. So now here we have this this um, this block here. Now now we can see that. Uh, okay, so we changed the name to password builder. You updated it here as well. So now it's starting to make a little bit more sense. So welcome top security software, right? Yes, as you updated the password. Okay, the password builder builds this password. And where's the pass, right? And then, then we compare the password to this. Okay, so let's rename this to uh, let's see, user input password. Okay, and now, okay, so user input password, store password, user input password. Okay, if it does not equal to zero, then we print no sorry. If it does, we print the print out this correct and we start a shell. All right, so let's see if we're correct. Let's give it a shot. So let's go back here and let's run our demo. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Correct password. And now we're in the command prompt. That's sweet. All right. Exit. That's it. Goodbye. So there we go. That's kind of simple example how we can do we how we can do this and how we can use like tools like binary and you have to figure this out. Um and do you see it? Uh, so we I kind of walked you through this, right? So we started here, and then we lost some of the comments. But let's go back to the assembly. Okay. So remember, we started with this. We we say first print first print a string with the program, and like as I went along, I'm trying to build this 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 puzzle, this picture of what's going on with it with this binary. And uh, anyway, that's kind of the idea. And then we also built this code over here, right? And this is something that I often do, so I can kind of get an idea of what's happening as well. Because sometimes it's not it's not as clear. This one was pretty, I mean, it's pretty easy to to see what it was doing. But it might be it might be a little bit more intense. And I can show you a little bit of kind of what that looks like. Uh, let's go ahead and save this one for now. All right, let's go look over here. Let's look script. Let's look at the script binary. And I'll just get it. Let's start with this one. So let's run it here. All right. Let's see what's up. So I always like to start with the assembly graph. So it was good. Okay, in here, check this out. What do we have? Look, it in this in this one. This this uh, this binary is stripped. So it took all the like a lot of the symbols out of it, and so it's still able, still powerful enough to, to like get this one. So right, you got like all the regular like uh, standard library stuff. But now we lost our main. We don't know where main is. It doesn't show up. Okay, so let's see. We can try from the start. Uh, this is start here is like the entry point. You know, uh, Vanity is smart enough that he knows where where to find that spot. Let's see here. Uh, go here, and then we'll move this way. Yeah, let's try over here. Okay, let's go to the medium. Um, let's try maybe the high level IL, see what it comes up with. 
code of info. Data. Okay. Oh, data. That's a lot of stuff on this one. Okay, so we're trying to build this stuff. Mm, let's try this one. Oh, look at that. Okay, so that's got to be main. All right, so we're going to change this to, to name, to the type. Let's try it. Let's call this one main. So we, in this case, we have to find main ourselves. Okay, so now we know. Oh, we, yeah, we got this figured out. We know this is main. So that's a good place to start. Okay, so now we got this function here. And this is similar. I think this, got, this has got to be our, our, our password builder function, right? So... This is gonna be our user input. So let's change that to user input. Input password. Okay, let's call that. And we'll call this one, let's see, let's rename this one password builder. Password builder. And let's get into this one. So now we got that, see, and it's just, it's just started filling out this, this uh, this picture. So we got a password builder. We got a main. Um, you know, it's kind of quick, but as you can see, it's not all. You know, it's not all like easy, especially if the binary is stripped and they're using like obfuscation and other techniques like that. It might be a little more crazy, um, but at least you get an idea of what's going on here um, and and kind of how things can get a little bit more complicated. Um, something to keep in mind and. Uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. Um, and I hope it helps you understand a little bit of how Reverse Engineer works. Um, and uh, Binary Ninja, good tool. Um, I recommend it, give it a shot. And uh, I will continue some of these videos probably next, maybe with Ida or Ghidra.